Hello, my name is Tori Smith, and I would like to do a MyLab child trafficking update for the specific day of 29th November 2015. Because Dick Cheney murdered 46 children, personally murdered each 46 of these children on this day. There are, there's a major child trafficking operation going on, uh, and it's owned by the Bush family and operated by DARPA and the CIA. And it's been a great money maker for DARPA because if you like to rape four-year-old girls, all you have to do is pay uh, DARPA $43,000 and then they will allow you to rape a child. They do a huge amount of human experiments. I've personally been abducted to 14 out of 41 locations and they never expected me to live to be able to tell you what I've witnessed. I share and report what I have seen, what I know to be true, and I ask people to do their own research, and I also ask people to ask Mother and Father God in Heaven to close down this child trafficking operation. What happened was there's a group of uh, beings called in the Insectians, and there's a wide variety of them. I've found 40, or I'm sorry, 53 species of these types of Zeta reticulans, and uh, a group of them is called the Tall Whites. That's a common name here. 46 tall whites were called from Bellatrix and arrived a few days ago. And they, all these insectians only eat humans. Well, they used to eat cows, but then they, uh, I, I don't really know how, but uh, they were introduced to eating our children. And they never ate another cow again. And what would they would do in these MyLab child trafficking operations is they take the children and they, they strap them down to tables, they gang rape them, and they kill them in service to their uh, Luciferian ideals or whatever you want to call it. But they murder children in service to the dark side. This is our Hollywood, everything. There's so many people involved in this. Uh, I've seen 13 FBI agents rape and murder children. The CIA is just, well, there's not a single human that works at the CIA, and their headquarters is located at the bottom of Lake Geneva. NSA, there's a major child trafficking uh, organization called ICE. ICE was the one who brought these 46 children from Arizona. And there was a 13-year-old girl that had been raped 32 times by one corporate executive from a company called the RAND Corporation, whatever that is. I think I've heard of them before, but anyway, it just came up in the DNA evidence. And... Uh, all 46 children were personally murdered by Dick Cheney, and when he murders children, he likes to rip the flesh off his body. He loves to murder human children. He's a reptilian. So the Bushes, the Cheneys, the Clintons, the Obamas, the Windsor family, uh, none of these people are human. They have human aspects and human... They do have human DNA, but it is submissive or dormant mostly to the reptilian DNA. And these, because what's happened is they've really lost all their support. Um, the Draco, there were 1,738 Dracos. They were arrested and removed. Then there was a group of 300,000 of these non-physical, some type of reptilian beings. 300,000 of them were arrested by the Galactic Federation and taken to Aeron. And so they don't have the support that they had before, especially since Satan and, Luc Satan and Lucifer were two of these 1,738 Dracos that were arrested, and they were the last ones to go in September of 2013. They've been gone for two years now. And so what happened was Bush and Cheney called yet another assassin team from Bellatrix, and so the income of these 46 tall whites, Dick Cheney murders 46 children to feed these tall whites, but see, now most of the insectians are gone, so what they do is, well, they have these huge vats, which I can describe later in another video, but they process the children as food, and since the insectians, the zeta reticulans, have been gone, now they're taking the children and processing them as food and putting them into the Cargill meat supply. Because Cargill's heavily involved in this. And, um, and then the other day, I was checking, I was doing a DNA uh, scan for someone who was having severe uh, mental depression. I was checking him to see if he had eaten any of these children, because this processing plant is not actually not far from me. It's in Minnesota. And the CIA agent goes, well, I don't know what you're so worried about. Most of that human meat was sent out of the country. Oh, wow, that makes it all fine and dandy, doesn't it? 
Yeah, there are all these human children raped and murdered and in the United States of America processed as food, but don't worry, because they're shipping the meat out of the country. That makes it all okay, right? There was one girl, she, the, the girl that was raped 32 times was the only light-skinned child. The 45 other ones were Mexicans. There's child trafficking organization called ICE, who uh, has been delivering children to politicians, corporate executives, and the military for years, brought these children from Arizona. And uh, unfortunately for the Mexicans, but I tell them, you shouldn't be coming here because they're taking your children and they're killing them. But I guess this is a lot hard for people to understand or comprehend. So many people can't connect to the truth and they can't find evidence or whatever, so it might be overwhelming, I guess, for some people. I witnessed Dick Cheney murder 26 children and it was really horrific. I was told it took them three days to clean that Denver, my lab. That's where this has occurred which is 17 stories below the Denver airport, one of the most busiest child trafficking locations on the planet. But what happened after with these tall whites is that Father God filled them with a special type of divine energy. And these insectians cannot handle anything to do with the sacred and divine. It completely shuts them down, especially since our planet has gone through such a huge change, the vibrations have lifted so much, and when the polarity of this planet changed on December the 21st, 2012, from negative to positive, that's when it really started to affect them the most. And so Father God filled them up with this glorious blue energy, like this cobalt blue energy. It freaks them out. They went to their ship and fled. Luckily for us, the Galactic Federation was nearby, stopped the ship, arrested all 46 of them, and they were taken to Aeron, which is where, every, as far as I know, everyone that's been arrested so far, except for the 1,738 Dracos, have gone to Aeron to be processed for their criminal violations against the universe, which was very good news to me. Unfortunately, in these child trafficking locations, Anywhere from a few children up to several hundred are murdered each weekend. Each weekend. And I'm going to do as many videos as I can explaining who these children are and how many children they murder each weekend. I ask you to pray to heaven, pray to Mother and Father God, Jesus Christ, Quan Yin, Saint Germain, Amora, anyone and ask to please close these child lo traveling locations down. Thank you. Uh, good evening. My name is Tori Smith, and um, I usually do a almost daily report on the DARPA CIA child trafficking operation, which is owned by the Bush family and um, operated, as I said, by DARPA and the CIA uh, with assistance from the FBI. There's many, many FBI agents involved. And one of their key players is a man uh, who's uh, acting as Indiana governor, who's named Mike Pence. And um, I was speaking to a really dear friend of mine, and uh, she, this is what she said about the Republicans. She said, for years, Republicans have pretended to be the moral leaders. They have caused so much pain and suffering and killed so many. And um, I know in the United States, most men who rape and murder children are considered heroes. The military who commits horrible, horrible crimes, they're considered heroes. Uh, politicians, CEOs, military and police officers are all involved in this child trafficking operation and everybody looks up to them like, you know, they have some kind of superiority. So let's take a look at Mr. Mike Pence. Uh, Mike Pence has been raping children for 16 years. It began with his devotion to the Bush family uh, when he became an accessory uh, in their war crimes. Mike Pence is directly related to the murders of 6.1 million people in three war crimes, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Yemen. 
As of February 22, 2016, Pence has raped 136 children and murdered 29 of them. He is also an accomplice to the murders of 56 more children uh, when he was standing less than 10 feet away while watching them be raped and murdered. He has a long history of raping children with two CIA agents who are living in Indianapolis right now in a big part of the Indianapolis child trafficking operation. Of the 136 children that he raped, 81 of them are boys. And uh, as anyone who knows politics in the state of Indiana, uh, the men who rape and murder children at the Indianapolis My Lab uh, don't feel that all people should have civil rights in this state. So they do everything they can to block uh, either gay men or lesbians or uh, transgendered people from having civil rights because, as we all know, men who rape and murder children are the pillars of morality. And since Mike Pence has raped 81 little boys, he truly knows what uh, civil rights homosexual men or gay men should have. 55 of the little children he raped are little girls. And all of these children have been murdered, either by him or his friends. And uh, if you're wondering where this comes from, it comes from public information, where I get all my information from. I read information directly out of people's DNA. I also communicate with people in heaven and directly with the Hall of Justice, the Hall of Research, the Hall of Charts. And, uh, and I also speak to the Galactics from time to time who arrested the new CIA director and the new Attorney General of the United States just a while ago. The Bush family has been very good to Mike Pence, uh, financing him and also providing him with other benefits. He has 16 bank accounts totaling just under $42 million. And three of these accounts are offshore and were generated by his participation in the war crimes in which he helped murder 6.1 million people. This is why Indiana Republicans just love him, because he's a child rapist and a child murderer and a war criminal. Because Indiana Republicans celebrate when the military murders helpless, innocent, weaponless people in other countries. Celebrate it. Well, the Democrats do too. I don't mean to single out the Republicans as being just filthy low-life criminals, because the Democrats are too. Okay, back to Pence. The Bush family has also given him four clones. The clones have appeared for him in public while he is either raping a child or participating in other types of criminal behavior. Pence has also raped 17 men, which gives him the authority to judge all gay men and homosexual and bisexual men. And he's also raped one woman. One of these men he rapes lives in Indiana. And the, all the other men he raped it was done in the Washington, D.C. area and were young men aged 18 to 21 years old. The female he raped was killed by a CIA agent during rape while Pence watched. The pillar of morality. That's what we should call this, the pillar of morality. Uh, one of his clones is still operating and lives uh, right next to the child trafficking operation at the Indianapolis, uh, I believe it's called the Business District of the Indianapolis Airport, where over 12,000 children have been gang raped and murdered, not just by Indiana men, but also uh, national level figures. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm always crabby. See why I'm so cranky? I really like this part from having another breakdown. There's just so many children, hundreds and hundreds of children they rape and murder every day. It just gets to be really too much. And uh, this uh, Indianapolis child trafficking operation is very also just feet away from the Indianapolis high-speed rail, which connects in uh, four directions, Chicago, Washington, D.C., Denver, and down to Texas. That's how they ship these children back and forth. Uh, by high-speed rail. Uh, his four clones have also uh, raped children and done it 114 times total. Uh, clone number two has also murdered a man, a 19-year-old man, uh, immediately following rape in the Pentagon 
location. Uh, Pence has recruited over 100 men into the DARPA CIA child trafficking operation. 97% of those men are in Indiana. And it is expected that all of these details of his life will be released, <clears throat> excuse me, within a month. And, uh, of course, you all know how I feel about uh, men who rape and murder children. Um, it's really become my job to monitor what they do. And uh, it really upsets them. It really makes them angry. I, I wish I had his his uh, little recruitment speech handy here when he went up when he goes up to people I, I, I didn't really pull it out I guess it's not that important but um, he has a cute little recruitment speech when he's trying to get men to join the child trafficking operation he's trying to uh, yeah I don't I don't have it I've got so many notes and everything of all these all these kids and everything, it's just really hard to keep track of. But I, I just wanted to do a report because I, I'm just so disgusted with the people of Indiana. I mean, a lot of people out there are really good people, but uh, this allegiance to these horrible, horrible monsters. We have uh, 36 state senators in Indiana uh, rape and murder children. Um, uh, Indiana House of Representatives rape and murder children. Indianapolis Municipal Police Department, rape and murder children. The Indiana State Police, rape and murder children. CEOs from Indiana, rape and murder children. CIA agents, FBI agents, other DARPA, C, um, the uh, TSA, DHS, they all rape and murder children. I just don't understand why America worships them like gods, but I'm old and I'm bitter and uh, they attack me every day, so maybe it's just being, uh, I'm just tired, tired of being attacked every day, tired of having them put the poison in my body every day, especially while I sleep. I don't know how they do that. I'm sure all the details will be coming out very soon. But anyway, for those of you who do care about children, I love you. God bless your hearts. Thank you very much. And for those of you who don't have child, lo tra trafficking, loca child trafficking locations in your state, thank you. Like Idaho, Idaho doesn't have a child trafficking location, neither does Wisconsin. Although CEOs from Wisconsin usually go to the Chicago My Lab or the Minneapolis My Lab. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. My name is Tori Smith, and I monitor a child trafficking operation which has uh, 41, uh, 40 main locations. Uh, in the United States. One of them is here in Indiana, uh, which has been open for 27 years now, and then they have a multitude of other locations, like the basement of the UN building in Manhattan, and the basement of the White House, where children are gang raped and murdered on a routine basis. There's also, here at the uh, TSA location, just over the border uh, in Michigan, close to Kalamazoo area. Now today I would like to take a special turn and uh, instead of just reporting how many children have been gang raped and murdered, I would like to make an special appeal to a child trafficker whose uh, name is Karen Pence. Her husband uh, just murdered his 51st child last weekend on Sunday and it was an especially gory murder. He had the blood uh, that was coming out of this little boy's rectum all over his penis while he was choking this child to death, her husband, your husband, Mrs. Pence, has murdered 48 children by choking them to death during rape. Now, you've known about this since the 88th child that he's raped. When you found out that he had raped 88 children, your decision was to aid and abet him, to protect him, to help him to continue to rape more children. And I'm doing a direct appeal to you because I want to know what have children done to you that is so horrible that you think that they should be gang raped and murdered for you and your husband's pleasure? Why? What could a child possibly do to warrant this type of behavior? You have 17 children today. 17 children are being held at Nellis Air Force Base and they're on their way to Indianapolis. It's what time is it? 10, it's almost 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
And you have selected uh, 17 more children to be gang raped and murdered in Indianapolis. You have 208 members, 208 members of Indiana males, and I believe three females, who are involved in your child trafficking operation. Your husband has now raped 177 children and murdered 51 of them. Something that makes you very proud, doesn't it, Mrs. Pence? 27 years this has been open. 127 children are dead since you found out about this child trafficking operation. When you found out that your husband was raping and murdering children and decided to join this child trafficking operation, 127 more children are dead because of you. Because you failed to do anything to help these children. Do you really feel special? Do you feel proud of yourself, Mrs. Pence? I don't know why the hell anybody would call you a first lady because you are an accessory to murder. You have 18 Indiana State policemen involved, 51 from the Indianapolis Municipal Police Department, 4 county sheriffs, 64 corporate executives, 14 CIA, 12 FBI, 32 National Guardsmen, 37 Indiana State Senators. Oh, your precious fellow Republican Party men who rape and murder children and do it in your name, Karen Pence. Three Indiana governors, including your filthy lying murderer husband, and four U.S. senators from Indiana. And the 17 children that you are going to be an direct accomplice a direct accessory to their murder, were kidnapped in Cambodia. These children were raped 107 times in Asia by Asian males, and then they were raped 16 more times by Air Force males. Something I'm sure that you find very, very sexually arousing, child trafficker Karen Pence. You're no lady. You're an accomplice in murder. You should just get the hell out of our state. Filthy low life piece of Hi, my name is Tori. And I want to thank you for the support and prayers and awareness that you brought to what's going on in our country about child trafficking. I think this is going to be my last video for a while. I can barely see. I can only stand up for a few minutes and then I have to lay back down. I can't drive anymore. I'm just so exhausted all the time. And I just want to thank you for all your support. It's been a long road trying to bring awareness. Okay, you know, you can't really expect to fight an army of half a million. I tried. I tried. But it just doesn't work, does it? It just doesn't work. Thank you. I love you.